Welcome back, folks. We are episode 10. Thank you for joining me. We have just beaten the second major boss in this game, Fantoon, the ghost of this ship, which is super weird. We have beaten the ghost of an inanimate object. It <laughs> doesn't make sense. Or maybe it totally does if you're an animist. So how's that on your conscience? Inanimate objects do have spirits. Maybe you'll think twice before kicking something like a chair next time, eh? Unfortunately, this one room has decided that we need to kill everything in this room in order to leave. Uh, this should just be this guy left. There you go. In this direction. I believe we go outside? Yeah, okay. There are two things that we can find in this area. One is a really sneakily hidden missile expansion. Hang on, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a key to this. We gotta find some kind of... There we go. We use Platform Bro over here. And we enjoy the weather. Strange that it's not raining, right? Mm. It's not raining. Can't complain. Ooh. Yeah, what we're looking for is right up there. So there's a third platform bro right here. And we fire... There. This one's a little bit tricky to get to. What? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, the next thing, we can completely ignore those uh, platform bros. I think it's here. Yeah, all right. Next move, we're going to loop back into the, the wrecked ship. Here. Now, are you still, are you starting to catch on to the design of this game? It should be a little evident what we might be picking up in this area. I mean, it's super, super obvious to me. I don't know how... how whoops! That's not the grapple beam. It's obvious to me because I've played this a billion times. I've said that a billion times, too. I apologize for the repetition. But, um... Oh, yeah, this part. Yeah. Pay attention. Watch. The first Chozo statue to not do the same thing as all of the other Chozo statues. This guy is walking through spikes, as if these ones were fake, although if we had fallen into them we would have taken damage. And now here's the secret. There's a stairway! If this game had been 3D, we would have caught on, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Luckily, the virtues of 2D are saving us from this. Okay. Hey, wait a second. I think before we before we take our victory lap here, we there's a secret over here. I know there's a secret. What is this? I know we were just on the cusp of picking up the next item, but uh, I didn't want to forget about this part. Kinda too bad it was all for just a missile expansion. Would we even notice, at this point, how many missiles we carry? Let me just do a little... Not, ah! Every one of these Chozo statues I see now, I just have to suspect that there's something up with them. Okay, up here... Okay, that's... that's for Fallen? Mm -hmm. Looks like I can do a shine spark. Maybe I can... Or a turbo whoosh jump. Uh... Okay. Ah. Ah, reserve tank. Alright. In case I need it, I will now have more energy to save my ass. That's always handy. Now, I believe... 
we can finally go pick up that that that, that, that thing. That thing in the middle of the room is the gravity suit. I know the icon doesn't look like the gravity suit. <laughs> Just watch. Now we're purple. This uh, this gravity suit is going to give us uh, once again a defense boost, I believe. I forget exactly how much it gives us, but uh, anyway, there's that, and we're purple, and so we're going to be able to. Yeah, with the gravity suit, we were we will be able to jump and f and swim with ease. We're not actually swimming, no. We are fall. We would be falling into the water, and it would act exactly as if we had. So it, now it just obviates water completely. There's no different physics. The gravity suit functions quite a lot like how the various suit works for Norfair. Uh, before, we weren't able to enter Norfair at all because of how, you know, the heat would just suck away our energy. Same thing with the gravity suit, it's just going to change the water as to, you know, as if the water just wasn't there. Now it's just a handy effect to give us, uh, you know, a little bit of extra flavor. I could not imagine how that's supposed to work, but this is also like a science fiction game. <laughs> So it doesn't have to make sense, luckily. I believe I can go up here, and I think there's a secret through here. This is the type of thing that we could have done before we picked up the gravity suit, but it would have been, I think, impossible. Energy tank. Just what I want. For Christmas. Alright, this is the first energy tank in our new row. Sweet! I think the energy tanks might actually be a pretty good yardstick for determining just how far into the game we are. I think we're... we are officially, like... Around half, and now we have enough uh, energy tanks for you know to indicate that we are just a little bit beyond half. That that's all right, I think. Now at this point, we are going to go explore around this side of the wrecked ship, and I think over here in this direction is the entrance to Meridia, the next zone that we're going to have to tackle, and that is a doozy of a zone. It's a very interesting area. The uh, the manual says that it's the oceanic section of the uh, of the of the landscape in Zebes. Zebes, sorry. I'm so used to saying Zebes in my head, but I never really voiced it out. So when somebody finally did voice it out, I think it was in Metroid Other M. It's just Zebes. That's so weird. But I don't really accept it, you know Other M as being canon anyway, so it's fine. I believe there's a way to go. I, know, I remember this this maze part. Okay. I, mm -hmm. Okay, that's exactly what we need. But we're gonna go up here anyway. I I don't think that was quite it. Uh, no. This is just a big mess. It, it's meant to be a maze. Uh, hang on, can I? Yep. Okay, it's over here. Alright, good. This should be it. Yep, the elevator down to Meridia. This is a... I think this is a game that could have used title cards. Title cards? This is Meridia. Huge change, just like every other section. I love it. So this is, I guess, all sand? Anyway, we're going to explore Meridia a whole lot more in the, in the upcoming episodes. Thanks again for joining us. I'm going to put this down for now, and I'll see you next time.